This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1145. Do you avoid photos? Announcing ZFG Day by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Hey there, welcome to a Tuesday edition of Optimal Health Daily. Remember, this is one of six podcasts where we read you from blogs for free so that you don't have to read them yourself, except on Fridays. That's where I usually answer your questions. Now to check out our other shows, just search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this. Now, when I first read today's post, it really hit home with me. You remember back in August, I shared a personal story about my passport photo and how distraught I was about how I looked in that photo? Well, in today's post, Steve reminded me about how sometimes we, and by we, I really mean me, can take ourselves too seriously, especially when it comes to how we look in photos. So, Listen on as we get to today's post and start optimizing your life. Do you avoid photos? Announcing ZFG Day by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. I want to start today off with a riddle. What is going on right now that hasn't happened ever since the beginning of time, but is soon guaranteed to never happen again? The answer? Today. I've been thinking a lot about today lately and all of the memories that can get made in a day. It's kind of cool to think that what happened today will never happen again, but also kind of scary. I remember watching people of all shapes and sizes be 100% themselves at Camp Nerd Fitness and remembering, I'll never forget today. It was awesome to watch people who stopped worrying about how they looked or what others thought because they were surrounded by people that didn't care either. Everyone was just excited to be a part of something special. It was pretty freaking cool. Fortunately, we have a few thousand photos that allow us to immortalize these moments. Nothing summed up this thought more than during our Rubik's Cube night, when we all traded clothes so we ended up wearing the same color, which led to some pretty ridiculous outfits. Most of us would have been embarrassed to be seen in such clothes in public, but at camp, It was simply another opportunity to make an unforgettable memory. Which brings me to today. You see, over the dozens and dozens of epic success stories we've shared, and hundreds of smaller ones, we've noticed a few recurring themes with rebels that have transformed themselves. They all struggle to find candid photos of themselves from the before stage. Not only did they wish they had more before photos to share, but they also realized that Those are days, memories, and moments that they don't have documentation of because they were embarrassed to get in front of the camera. And when we talk with rebels who just started their journey to a healthier life, they explain their subconscious, self-conscious behavior when it comes to photos, somehow avoiding photos and staying out of the way. No matter where you are on your journey, I'm challenging you to be happy. Right now, be proud of your life and where you're heading. If you spend any time on the internet, you're familiar with the hilarious and inappropriate term, zero Fs given, also known as doing things without caring what other people think. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to take off your clothes and go dance alone in the field, unless that's what you wanna do. What I am saying is we spend so much time thinking about what we look like, what other people think we look like, and how we appear to them that we forget to just freaking enjoy today. Today is the only time ever that this moment will happen. We don't get extra lives. We don't get to replay on an easier difficulty. And we are only allowed to play the character that we've rolled. Don't forget, today is a pretty freaking awesome day. You woke up, which is more than 99.9% of people that ever existed can say. Take Louis C.K.'s words to heart. Quote, most people are dead. Did you know that? It's true. Out of all the people that ever were, almost all of them are dead. There are way more dead people and you're all going to die. And then you're going to be dead for way longer than you're alive. Like, that's mostly what you're ever going to be. You're just dead people that didn't die yet, end quote. Morbid? Yep. Hilarious? Absolutely. True? For sure. I don't know what it is about death that often serves as a kick in the pants to get over the insignificant and start focusing on the important. So you're overweight and not where you want to be yet. 
don't hide from that camera. You're alive and you're actively working towards getting better. Fantastic. Don't stress about what you can't control and don't hide. Give yourself the option to at least capture this memory. Enjoy the ride to a leveled up life, including this moment, right now. So, you don't think you look great in photos now. Who cares? Show me a supermodel and I'll show you somebody who nitpicks over their flaws too. When you're 80, you'll look back and wish you had lived in the moment and had this memory documented. Don't let this temporary feeling color your memory and enjoyment of today because today ain't happening again. So you think you might look silly trying a new class or course or exercise at the gym. Who cares? Give less Fs. Everybody else in that class or at that gym will respect you for trying or they're idiots loaded with plenty of insecurities of their own. Don't let them dictate your happiness. Only you have that power. Don't give it away. We're all on our own special journey to Mordor, hoping to get there and back again. We're all at different points in the story too. People are on the depressing and sad parts, while others are riding on freaking eagles. That's just how stories work. Unfortunately, there's no guarantee that we get to continue that journey tomorrow. We're characters in the story, and we don't have control over when it's time to close the book. So, as Gandalf tells Frodo, quote, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us, end quote. Remember, you woke up today, which is a good start. Build on that. Instead of worrying that you're not yet where you want to be, be thankful for the opportunity to get closer. Instead of complaining that the journey is long and challenging, be thankful for the humbling learning experience and wisdom that comes along with it. And instead of shying away from the camera, get in front of the lens. After all, it's gonna be tough as heck to make a montage with only footage from the after. We need the before and during. So I'm declaring today, zero F's given day. I'm 30 years old and struggle with plenty of issues and insecurities about myself. I'm self-conscious of my chicken legs I still deal with acne on a regular basis and I get incredibly anxious when surrounded by people I don't know and compare myself far too often to others in every aspect of my life. So I'm gonna make an effort today to give less Fs and remind myself that life is pretty effing good. I'm a lucky guy and today's a great day to be alive. I'm actively working on a number of things to make myself better and I have a long way to go but I'm pretty darn happy that I get the chance to try. How about you? What are you gonna do for ZFG Day? You just listened to the post titled, Do You Avoid Photos? Announcing ZFG Day by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Now imagine that you're having a series of health issues, but couldn't identify the root cause. There were definitely times where I wish I could get my answers without a visit to the doctor. Everlywell does just that. At Everlywell, they offer over 30 at-home lab tests where you can test your heart health, B vitamin status, an STD, and more. My heart health kit is on the way. Everlywell tests are always shipped right to your door with easy-to-follow instructions so you can confidently collect your samples in the comfort of your home. When your samples are returned, it will be processed in a certified lab and then reviewed by a board-certified physician. Your results will be available digitally within days, where you can also share your results with your healthcare provider. For 20% off an Everly Well at-home lab test, visit everlywell.com slash OHD and enter code OHD. That's everlywell.com slash OHD. Code OHD for 20% off your test. Everly Well at-home lab tests. Your answers, your way. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. So like I mentioned at the top of the show, back in August, I had my passport photo taken. Not because I'm going abroad anytime soon, but because my passport was set to expire next year and I figured the pandemic will have to end sometime. And when it does, traveling will probably be on everyone's minds. So I wanted to avoid the mad rush. Well, when my passport photo was taken, I was very disappointed in the result. To me, it looked like one of my eyes was looking directly into the camera lens, but the other half of my face looked like I had a drooping eyelid. And my eyeball didn't seem to be looking at the camera lens at all. 
It was doing its own thing. It looked like this one eyeball was tracking something to my left. Now, just this past week, my new passport finally arrived. I very begrudgingly looked at it to see how it turned out. And to my surprise, my photo didn't look nearly as awful as I had remembered. It's certainly not a photo I want plastered all over the internet, but it will do. And as Steve mentioned in his post, I needed to let it go and give zero Fs about it. Photos can actually serve to motivate. When I used to instruct a weight management class, we would snap a photo of each person on day one. We would then show them that photo at the class's halfway point and then again at the end. Now, during these photo reveals, patients were always shocked at the progress they had made. Even if they didn't reach their ultimate goal, the fact that they made some progress was enough. And they almost always wanted to keep a copy of the before photo as a reminder of this. So for now, maybe as Steve said, we give zero Fs and enjoy the moment because tomorrow we're gonna be an even better version of ourselves. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being a subscriber of the show. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow where optimal life awaits.